Victor Mescoso, a pioneer of psychedelic art movement. Victor Moscoso is a psychedelic movement rock poster artist who was born in Oleiros, Galicia, Spain in 1936. He is one of the few rock poster artists with formal academic training and experience. He attended Cooper Union in New York City. He also attended Yale University. He later attended the San Francisco Art Institute in 1959, where he became an instructor. He taught lithography and forged a career as a freelance graphic designer. During his time, he was always tasked to make psychedelic rock and roll poster art for San Francisco dance hall and clubs. Painter Joseph Albers, Moscoso's teacher at Yale, influenced him to use vibrating colors in his paintings. Vibrating color effect happens when an optical effect in the viewer is created by alternating deeply saturated primary color. The juxtaposition of colors would create the illusion of the poster moving back and forth in space. Moscoso used more conventional typefaces, usually letters with large serifs, but he bent and twisted them into interesting shapes that the readers would have a hard time reading them. Victor Moscoso's art was heavily influenced by the society that he lived in. In the 1960s, young people called themselves hippies, and they took drugs like LSD and marijuana to allow them to see a colorful and unreal world. The visual experience in taking psychedelic drugs became Moscoso's inspiration in his rock posters. 1960s was an era of protest. The black movement and feminist movement rose during these times. Black and whites protested against unfair treatment of races. Meanwhile, female activists demanded more rights for women, whose role in society began to change. Famous leaders became a target of assassination. For instance, President John F. Kennedy was gunned down in Dallas. Civil rights leader Martin Luther King was killed in Memphis, Tennessee. Baby boomers also rebelled against the norm with sex, rock and roll, and drug experimentation. Moscoso had several career breakthroughs throughout his lifetime. Moscoso's poster for the Family Dog Dance concerts at the Avalon Ballroom catapulted him to fame. Here you can see some of those posters. His neon posters for The Matrix resulted in international fame during the 1967 Summer of Love. Here you can see that he used the vibrating color effects. It's a style that he got from Joseph Albers. Moscoso also became part of, a, of underground comics. It's a small press or self-published comic books, which are satirical in nature and are often socially relevant. As one of the Zap Comics artists, he started gaining international attention once again. So what is Victor Moscoso up to now? And what are some of his historical influences? Moscoso continues to do comics and poster works up till now. His works include album covers for musicians such as Jerry Garcia, Bob Weir, Herbie Hancock, Jerry Davis, and Davis Grishman. Moscoso created art for use on t-shirts, billboards, and animated commercials for radio stations. He received two CLIA awards for these. Victor Moscoso still lives in San Francisco Bay Area. In conclusion, Victor Moscoso is definitely one of the pioneers of psychedelic art movement. His use of vibrating color effects and unique use of typography captures the essence of psychedelic era. Various inf social influences inspired his artwork, and he has accomplished many things and has definitely made a mark in art history. <laughs>